Hi, uh, this, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you the changes that are coming uh, in terms of um, registering runners, uh, namely in the REST API slash runners. Uh, this API is going to stop working um, in 16.6 uh, .6 through a feature flag, and it's going to be disabled completely in 17.0. Uh, the act of uh, registering a, a runner with a registration token that's going away. Um, and this is going to be replaced by a new REST API that was introduced in 15.11, uh, um, which lives under a user. This allows this uh, runner that, that gets created to be associated with a, with a user for better traceability. The arguments is, are more or less the same. But you are able to pass a runner type and you know group project ID depending if you're creating under those scopes. But you're still able to pass the tag list whether it's um, locked, paused, etc. Um, so yeah, we can go into a small demo here. I have this project which has the ID twenty three. Um, I think this is not completely loaded. Okay, there we go. So let's go into the access tokens page to create a, a bot project token. And uh, we have to set an owner role, or it could be for projects, you, you're able to do that with a maintainer role uh, and API scope. This is something that we'll, we plan to improve in the future to create a new scope solely for creating runners, but for now we have to use the API scope. So let's go ahead, create this. Okay, we can see the scope, the token was uh, created here, and uh, we can go into the command line. Um, let's copy this command that I have prepared here, where uh, we're hitting this uh, new API with the JSON type. We're requesting a project runner under the project ID 23. We're passing a description and a tag list. We just need to add the token that we just created here. Okay, and we're passing to JQ just to get some nicely colored output. Okay, so it created the runner and return the an authentication token for that runner. Um, we can now see the the runner in the CI CD page. Um, there we go. And we can register it uh, using minus minus token. So let's pass that. There we go. So automatically registered, it's verified that the token is valid. And if we go here and refresh the page, we can see that the runner is online. Okay. So this takes care of uh, registering project runners. For group runners, if we go to the GitLab group, the process would be exactly the same. You would go to access tokens, select owner uh, role and uh, API scope and create that. So pretty much the same, you would just need to change the runner type to be group type and pass group ID. That's pretty much it. Now we can look into creating an instance runner. And for that, you would go to the profile, go into access tokens, and let's say uh, a bot with API scope, create that personal access token. Okay, we have it here. So let's run that command here and uh, Use that token. And just to make it a, a bit more 
realistic let's um, ask for raw output and go directly into the token so yeah there we have our token and let's register that oops okay let's copy this there we have it so if now i go to the admin area and look at the runners we can see that our bot instance runner is there as well as our bot project runner so yeah um, that's the new way of creating runners hope that helped you and yeah take care